Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm gonna show you sample prints from the Makerbox samples uh, that I got uh, the other day. Uh, now I have uh, carbon fiber nylon from Fiberforce in Italy and uh, glow fill from Colorfab. So let's have a look after the intro. So the first filament is the glow fill from Colorfab. Uh, this is a PLA uh, H PHA blend that glows in the dark. Uh, it is uh, from Colorfab and uh, it prints uh, at 195 to 220 and uh, is uh, abrasive. Uh, this filament, uh, the glow in the dark filaments are uh, very expensive. Abrasive. I think they are more expressive than any other filaments, so I didn't want to print too much with this filament uh, for that reason. But uh, I did some test prints and I'm gonna show you those. So the first print I did was my Maker Coin, and the print came out very, very good. There is no issues in the print, and the, the small letters uh, came out pretty good also and uh, I printed out uh, 210 degrees uh, with this filament. Uh, I didn't do a temperature tower, so I just uh, took uh, the, the, the middle of the recommended temperatures and put that in uh, with my otherwise normal PLA settings. And then uh, printed out this, uh, this flame vase. It's, uh, it has a flame pattern to it, uh, this model I found on, on Thingiverse. Um, uh, it came out also great, there was no issues with the print. There was a small issue with the model uh, when I sliced it. There's a small hole in the, in the model, but uh, that has, uh, was in the, in the G-code previews. But I went ahead with the print and it's very thin uh, layers at the, at the top. So it's uh, just a slicing, slicing issue to have this hole, but the print uh, came out really good. Uh, I then tried the, the Christmas torture test from Angus. Uh, this is printed at 20% uh, scale, so this is uh, very small. Uh, here in this print there's a, a little bit of stringing. Uh, but uh, otherwise it, it came out uh, without any problems. Uh, it printed, printed uh, in a very short time. It's uh, just one parameter in its, uh, its part, so it's very quick to do uh, to this print. And uh, there's a lot of retractions <laughs> going on with this model at this scale. And, but it came out, came out well, came out good. Um, and I decided to, uh, not to print anymore. I have uh, some filament left. I, I thought I would, uh, if I would find uh, something funny to print out for for my son, that would be glow and dark. I want to have a, a little bit of this filament left. Uh, but I saw in those prints it prints out very easily and, and is uh, easy to print. I put on my hardened steel nozzle uh, on the Prusa printer to print this with, and uh, I've seen some uh, pictures and people talking about this online. Uh, that there's some material in the glow and the dark filament that is uh, super abrasive, so I didn't want to print uh, too much with it, just to test it out because the print came out. Uh, perfect in the first go and I didn't have to play around with any settings so I'm, I'm quite happy with this filament uh, and I tested the glow, glow in the dark features and they work quite well I can put this in front of my LED lighting that I have here in the in the video studio so uh, and they turn green when when uh, I have charged them with the uh, LED lights and so the glow in the dark feature is, is working quite well. So the other filament I had for this video is, is carbon fiber nylon uh, from Fiberforce in Italy. 
and this is uh, also a brazier filament and it prints at uh, 240 to 260 degrees uh, and is uh, pretty much uh, ABS uh, temperature uh, that I, I used. I used the ABS Prusa filament profile on uh, with those prints and, and it prints with uh, the fan turned off. So uh, let's have a look at the samples. Uh, the first print I did was uh, this test print uh, and the, the overhangs uh, came out pretty good. There was a, a little bit of uh, stringing in the in the print uh, and in the column here there's a like a blob blob of filament coming out of it uh, but uh, otherwise it uh, has a very good surface finish and uh, the bridging test came out okay there is a, a little bit of drooping in it but uh, for for this filament having no part cooling fan it did okay i think uh, and I, I just cut this to pieces to try out the strength. It's a uh, really tough material. It's a nylon uh, reinforced with carbon fiber. So it's a very strong filament. Um, I then printed out my, my maker coin. Uh, and the detail in the, in the letters are a bit, uh, bit smudged together. But uh, uh, it's difficult to see because it's a black filament, but otherwise the surface finish is, is great and the, the, you can't see any layer lines with the, with the print. It's just all the layers are all fused together and it has a, has a very strong layer adhesion and I can't even break off the, the bottom part of the, of the print. I have to use some uh, tools to get this off. And normally I could easily break this off, but uh, I'm unable to to get this off with my hands. Uh, I then uh, printed this carabiner. Uh, this is a model I found on, on Thinkiverse. And this also is super strong. I've tried to stretch this out with my hands and uh, there's no way I can break it. And it's like super, super uh, strong filament. Uh, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna take this uh, probably and put some uh, some band at the end and try to break it uh, by fastening it to something and use a, like a cable to try to stretch it out. But uh, with my fingers, I'm not able to to break it when the carabine is closed. So it's uh, super strong. I also printed out this bottle opener. opener. And I have tried it out and it uh, works quite well and I printed this with uh, six uh, parameters uh, so it's uh, it's a super strong uh, item and it's the surface finish on the on the back it's just one continuous uh, surface it's uh, you can't see any layer lines in it uh, and then printed out this small chain uh, and also holding it like this and trying to break it I'm unable to break it even though it's a very thin uh, thin links but it's like super strong material uh, there was a little bit of uh, drooping in the in the chain links but uh, for most parts it printed out without any any issues uh, and then I printed out the, the Christmas tree from Angus and um, here it it got uh, very stringy at, at one part and uh, but it come came together and, and it did finish without uh, breaking but uh, there was a uh, surface of this print is, is not very good there's a lot of retractions and, and I think uh, it's a difficult print uh, for a filament like this, but it did finish and uh, I haven't tried the strength strength of it, but I'm probably going to break it at some point. But the strength of the bottle opener and the carabiner is, is super strong, so this filament is, is, is very, very good for mechanical applications, I think. 
So this was a result of my tests for the glow fill from Colorfab and the carbon fiber nylon from Fiberforce. Both of those filament printed out great and uh, uh, though I have uh, limited uh, prints from the glow fill uh, filament I saw uh, when printing the Maker coin uh, it's very easy to print with and, and has a great surface finish. And I decided to keep a little bit of the sample uh, for later prints if I have something that I want to print for, for my son. Uh, and the carbon fiber filament, I really like the surface finish of that. The layer lines fuse together and, and it's super strong filament. Uh, the, the pieces like the bottle opener and, and uh, the carabiner, I totally unable to break them with my hands. I have to use some tools to try to stretch out the carabiner. Uh, if I if I have a chance with some rope, I think to to stretch it with my foot and hands, I think. But uh, I I think this filament is is has good use cases in mechanical applications, and I would recommend this filament from my experience so far. Uh, but uh, yeah, this will. Uh, conclude this video on the glow fill from Colorfab and carbon fiber nylon from Fiberforce. Both filaments came out excellent and I would uh, definitely have a go at testing out those filaments at a later time. So for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.